It was just before 6 p.m. Sunday evening. A teenage boy steps outside his home here in this Jane and Shepherd area townhouse complex. Minutes later, he was dead. Jeremiah Ranger was just 15 years old. This security camera footage shows Jeremiah Ranger and his friend approaching a white SUV, which police believe is an Audi. They get in the car and were inside for no more than 15 seconds before they both fled. Jeremiah having sustained a single gunshot wound. The deceased uh, collapsed a short distance away. He was transported via emergency run to Sunnybrook Hospital where he unfortunately succumbed to his injuries. He suffered one gunshot wound to the, uh, to the hip. The official cause of death is a perforating gunshot wound to the left buttock. The other boy was not injured and is cooperating with police. The SUV took off northbound on Marquet Street and then west on Spen Valley Drive. Police are looking for at least two suspects. They can't comment on the reason why the boys got into the vehicle in the first place, although they do confirm that Jeremiah received a phone call just before leaving his home. It's tragic to see a young life cut short. Uh, the young man just celebrated his 15th birthday this month. Police note that since the pandemic of COVID-19, the murder rate has not dropped. But Detective Sergeant Marsman is not surprised, saying fluctuations are to be expected. We are a little bit higher this year than last. So homicide 24 of 2019 occurred in May. Here it is April 26th and we've got homicide 24. He adds there are challenges police are facing as a result of the pandemic. With approaching uh, witnesses, with trying to interview witnesses, uh, always being cognizant of uh, social distancing and, and, and uh, uh, personal hygiene. Um, but we, uh, you know, we've, we've managed to, to overcome those challenges. Detectives are asking for witnesses to the murder of Jeremiah Ranger to come forward. In particular, they're hoping for more video, dash cam or other footage that will lead them to the suspects. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.